Hey guys, and over here. I'm bringing you episode 13 of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last episode, we quelled Arcanine. Pretty cool boss battle, honestly. Probably the probably my favorite one so far. Um, I, I like Lily against one too, but um, Arcanine really felt like you had to actually dodge to survive, which um proved true. When in the first battle, I couldn't do Jack when I couldn't dodge. So um, now we're gonna. I think battle Adamant. Uh, I would never want to disrespect Adamant, but you know, if he wants to battle, we can battle. All right, Hervé, go around with me. You bet. Yeah, I still need a razor fang for my with <laughs> my sneasel. Melly, make sure you watch closely now as I one shot your Pokemon. <laughs> So he has a Leafeon, she has a Glaceon. They're gonna be a random Eevee in the battle. Of course there's a random Eevee in the battle. Why wouldn't there be? <laughs> Alright, so... I think I'll calm mine. And then just Ice Shard the Leafeon. Because stab boost in this game raise both. Okay, I got credited for turn one. And looks like I will be just dying here. Alright. Goodbye, Batman. <laughs> that was very tragic to watch, but um I should I should have accounted for Leaf Blade critting me, you know. But um what can you do? Um Shion could probably one shot these guys, so I'm just probably not gonna do that. I'll just fire fang this guy. Damn! My, um... My Luxor is gonna faint here too, I'm pretty sure. I can't Wild Charge, cause then I'll die! I guess I'll take out the Leafeon. And hope that the Eevee doesn't take out my Luxor. I might just... Should I really hit this thing with a Wild Charge? Nah. <laughs> That's just um, overkill. I'll go out into like Shelby and just... Actually no, let's just go Gold Junior. I don't think I put any effort points on my Luxor, which is something I should probably do. No. Alright, so, sorry for that little pause in between, <laughs> I had to go check something, but yeah, not a bad battle, honestly. Like, the trainer battles definitely aren't the highlight of this game. Yeah, my mic cut out again, but I was saying before, like, the trainer the trainer battles aren't definitely not, jeez, I can't even say what I want to say. I, I can't read and I can't even say what I want to say. Look, look at me. <laughs> the trainer battles are definitely not, like, the highlight of this game, but... That wasn't a bad one. Like, it wasn't too easy. Obviously, if I went out to my level 44 Alpha Cleavor, I could have just x scissored that thing and killed it. But, you know. You see how good Hervé is now? Yes? No more sneering at him. Well, she's not going to stop. I know, I know, I know, like, the opposition is always on you, bro. It does not matter. <laughs> like, look at her. Now, I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was going to meet you at the training grounds. Once you're ready. Till later, Hervé. Oh, he gave me a little salute. Okay. <laughs> Till later, Hervé. Glad to have your help, as always. Yes, sir, Adamant. You know, that's why I mess with Adamant, bro. Melly, shift yourself. <laughs> shift yourself. Unless you want to get even more of an earful than you already do for it. Ah, oh, come on, Adamant. Cut me some slack here. Nah, we ain't cutting you jack. Hervé. Oh, what's up, Captain? Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over to the... The per the, but, uh, uh, <laughs> we'll go over the particulars of your new mission. I don't know, I was doing pretty good last episode reading. But now I'm just, like, stumbling over everything again. Your saving work will take you to the Coronet Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what pairs wait. Oh. Oh, this is my Coronet. So you're telling me I can get my Zoroark in this... Oh, nah. <laughs> 
Oh, it's over. <laughs> Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands. But you will need help from a particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. You see, doing the filler episodes in between also helps out because, like, then I don't have to stop doing the story to get a start up to go to, like, the new areas, right? So, like, honestly, I feel like that's just how the game is supposed to be played. Like, you're not supposed to just go through the story. You're supposed to do, like, completion in between, right? Hello, Hervé. This gentleman is the Warden Ingo, who serves Sneasler. What is a Sneasler? Sneasel? Sne- Oh. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> My Sneasel. He will guide you to her domain. This guy looks creepy. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. But I messed with him though. I'm the Warder Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll f see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now, let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard? Ingo's a bit like you, you know? How so? He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Oh. Maybe traveling with you will help him fill some of the gaps in his memory. Ooh. In any case, I'm glad to have your help to count on once again, Hervé. Good luck up in the Highlands. Thank you, Yurida. So, our other ride Pokemon is going to be a Sneasler. So, I guess this <laughs> Sneasel has a different form in this game. But, like, are we going to ride a Sneasler or a Weavile? Where is this guy? Oh, is he already waiting for me over there? I guess. I'm guessing Sneezer is gonna be like something to help you climb the mountain. Which is kinda clutch, cause now we don't have to spam jump on Word Deer to try to get up some like cliffs. <laughs> Here we are. Coronet Highlands. There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock-type and ground-type Pokemon running about these craggy, boulder-strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift of space-time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout this area. Fascinating stuff. Alright, so I don't... Unless we can get up to Mount Coronet... I don't think we're actually going to be able to get a Zoroark. <laughs> I am now sad again, but, you know, life goes on. It's going to happen eventually. First Pokemon I see is a Luxio. So, um... Yeah, I guess. What is up, Ingo? The electrode known as Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges, at least, are familiar. One false step around it can put you into danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as electrode, then becoming frenzied to boot. So true! It's a tough- not the Coin Sisters again! <laughs> the Misfortune Sisters! So true, it's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Oh no, <laughs> it's Melly. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan. And oh my, the Galaxy Team Grunt from before. Oh nah, bro, I hope we get to battle her. She, she needs to understand who I am, the greatest of all time. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the great Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. But, by sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're working. The greatest obstacle you ever face awaits, right here. Battle me, if you dare. Oh, thank you. Wait, what? No, I'm trying to battle her. What, what are you talking about? Absolutely not. Humph. Well then, let me tell you the great Melly's take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles, nothing like... What? 
The frenzy of our noble the frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of Almighty Sindel's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that it's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate the almighty Sinnoh that the diamond clan lived as right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. Damn, bro. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway if Electro let loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Really, you should do all of us a favor and slink back home to that village of yours rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. Yeah, I'm not leaving, bro. Like, why did they let me battle her, bro? I was so ready. Like, both of the options were no. What a selfish outlook. These frenzies caused the Pokemon themselves such suffer suffering. But, what is it that you want to do, Hervé? Press on. Ain't no way I'm turning back. No. No. Very well. The tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler here, you must pass through here. Wayward Cave. Here you'll find a Pokemon like Goldbat and their ilk, which are quite at home at navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you need to watch your step. Alright. Let's go. I'm gonna lead with Go Jr. So it's Sneasler. I feel like Sneasler is either gonna help me climb or it's gonna give me like night vision well this is odd the torches that light the way through the cave are gone could this be Melly attempting to obstruct me either way there's no need for concern i know my route now conduct us safely no darkness nor foul weather will delay us onward we roll take care not to come uncoupled from me okay following this guy i recall faintly that i had a partner once a precious one I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have no idea who could this be. Um, its name escapes me, but I remember that it was wielded flames with mastery. If only I were, it were here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. Maybe he's talking about like Typhlosion? Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an Alpha Crobat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you. But given a poor visibility, I propose a track to change in interest of safety. Please follow me. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. I wonder what happens if you get, like, separated from him. <laughs> I started to recall a man who looked... Oh, I didn't get to read that. The words, I like winning more than anything else, flashed through my mind just now. We'll soon be arriving at Wayworth Cade's ex exit. The song goes crazy. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> this is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, can those be? Let me put those torches back where they belong. The darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed, ready for departure. If you follow me, if you follow the track marked by the torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. No bet. Professor Leventon told me how you fell into this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region named Af whose name I never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in the bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But I still wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Okay. Is that another Alpha Heracross or just a normal one? It's a regular one. Who's on me?
What's the big idea? Putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away. Do you get some sort of a music stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh? Rending a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems to be noble to me. Hmm. Well, this just goes to show that even wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who would prefer the dark. But now you lots have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. Hey yo, someone like... I don't know. Make her be like, yo, there's something going on over here. So we can like pass, you know? <laughs> the only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. Uh, like, I told you I'm ready, bro. Like, just let me battle her. How will you proceed, Herbe? I'll beat him. Ghost content. Show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. Alright, once again, I have led the wrong Pokemon for the occasion. This is fine. Um, this is not fine. Go, Junior, please. Oh my god. No, he's gonna die to the poison. Okay, no, he's good. I go out into Shelby, I guess. Stun tank is a menace. Battle team still goes crazy. I slash, eat that up. Yes, sir. Hit him with a earth power. Can this confuse still? No. So I'll add that style mud bomb into the earth power. So I'm obscure. Oh no, he's just dead. Hey, OGG, bro. You try. Don't forget who you're dealing with here. I'm the greatest of all time. Thank you. Okay. Listen here. Neither I nor Skuntank, Skuntank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge still, to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skunk Tank some time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more than a it's more of an advance if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. Yeah, I'll be waiting for y'all. Go ahead. Bye bye. What a lively character. <laughs> I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions. But for now, let us press on. Alright, um Let me heal up my Pokemon here. And if she's gonna bring out this poison type, I'm gonna just lead um Shelby. Need to craft me some potions. Looks like a maze over here. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind would serve to cover us from the gaze of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Indigo. Well, <laughs> Indigo. Indigo. It's Volo. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask you about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it may have somewhat been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think that the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Hervé, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope our, your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you, then, Hervé? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of the rift? Was there anything inside? Yeah, I saw, um, you know, some yellow light, aka Arceus, speaking to me, as his son, Jesus Christ. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. That makes sense, yeah. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this same space-time rift also appeared in history in a distant past. That's why we already had a name for it. It appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? 
my guess is that it's Almighty Simno's realm. But then that begs the question, why has the space time ripped open when it's closed once long ago? And why would Hervé have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. Fervently, I hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fear over the frenzies of our noble. And why? And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the peoples living in the world. Oh, I am a mere admirer of the ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust the task to Hervé. Until next time, then. I feel like something is going on with the rift. I feel like either the rift is like, well, obviously it's a space-time rift, so like it can alter the past and the future. So like on the other side, maybe like future generations. Now on this side is like the past, right? But um, I feel like if they ever were to incorporate like the Hisuian forms into a uh, a baseline game. They would do it through space-time rifts. Once we're through here, it will be just a little further. Let us move with speed, but not haste. Cause like, how else would you get his human forms in a normal game? But you know, they've been cutting the deck, so maybe they just won't let you get them in normal games. You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? But with Sneezler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is no she is so at home on the cliff face, one might think she knew from some secret some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such things in history, surely. <laughs> no way, hidden power, bro. Dude, is that a hidden power reference? Oh my god. Game freak. <laughs> Yet, I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Just who was I before I be I came to Hisui? If you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would jog the memory loose. Would you honor me with a battle, Hervé? Oh, sure, bro. All aboard, then. Machoke, prepare for departure. Okay, obviously this guy's like some type of like um, conductor, but I have no recollection of who this guy could be. So this guy has three Pokemon, which is a good start. And they're higher level than me, which is also what I like to see. Um, so. If I s okay, I can do the agile style mud bomb into earth power move again. Now we got him. Nice. Shelby is no longer obscured. Okay, well, that was useless. Tangela came out. Oh, Tangela's gonna murder my Shelby? Ooh, energy ball. I'm sorry, Shelby. Oof. Um let's go Shion. That's um Let's um give this guy a little taste though. His exit. Why do I have Giga Impact? Nah, Shion is probably like. I wonder what Shion's attack set is. It's probably like 500. Light score comes in. I'll stay in on Shion, even though I don't really have anything to hit him with. But. Can I add out style this? And pass twice? No. So I guess I'll just do it normally. Hit him with the young X's there, hopefully. We missed. And now I'm dead. <laughs> okay. 
the light score we can use our Sneasel to defeat. Or should I say Batman? <laughs> Don't ask me why I thought the name Batman fit Weavile. Okay, this guy is still obscured. Okay, this guy is literally dodging every single one of my moves. He might just beat me, like... Okay. This guy is a threat, like actually. Uh... We can go Driftlim. I'm gonna go Driftlim, Calm Mind, Hypnosis, and then start hexing him. Finally, no longer obscured. Hit the hypnosis, please. You missed the hypnosis. Oh my gosh. It's okay. We'll use a potion to heal up if we get too low. Hypnosis finally connects. You see, drowsy. Hit him with a strong style hex because, you know, I don't give AF. Boom, baby. Wow, that was, that was a tough battle. Honestly, if I did some grinding, I probably would have been able to, like, just win. But, you know, that, that that's no fun, right? Like, it's, it's no fun to just breeze through the game. Bravo. Excellent. Your talent has brought you the destination called Victory. Now allow me to call Sneasler. Whoa! <laughs> what the? <laughs> what is this? A Power Ranger? Allow me to introduce you, Hervé. Kind of looks like Bien Chao. This keen clawed Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play your flute? As to play your flute for her to hear? Sneezer opened her heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Was that a Pokemon flying in the background? <laughs> what was that? You received a toxic plate from Sneezler. I'm afraid this may be our final stop. Well, your final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneezer and aid Quell the Lord up in the mountains. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard? You can now call Sneasler to scale and descend sheer cliffs and rock faces. Okay. <laughs> Yo, it's like I'm playing as Sneasler. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode off here. Um, next episode will quell Electrode's Frenzy, but um, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to uh, leave a like and comment, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>